yes now after oxidizing agents after reducing agents and after dehydrating agents let us come back and i've clubbed again the whole all the chapters of your uh, organic chemistry now what are we going to learn we are going to learn reactions involving metals done in this there is one important reaction that is dibal dibal reaction is very important in terms of metal let us see what it is now uh, in the exam okay metals nothing to remember sodium zinc copper of all all of these if you see in the exam along with that you need to remember one thing as i said earlier dibal what is dibal di isobutyl aluminum hydride okay dibal is that once again di isobutyl aluminum hydride no they will not ask you to write the structure nothing to do but you need to remember the mode of dibal what actually is this now let's start with the first one suppose if i have a metal i'm going to add alcohol to that we very well know uh, this is going to form this is acidic in nature so uh, if i have to write the uh, this product i'm going to get salt plus hydrogen gas okay, acid plus uh, this in um, metal means you take a small piece of metal and drop it in acid you're going to get salt and hydrogen gas pops out that is one condition first thing next dibal so whenever you see dibal in the paper what should you remember it basically it's going to reduce amides aldehydes ketones nitriles esters so anything may be given with dibal remember that so any reaction with dibal may be given to you so don't get confused nothing to do with that i'll show you how to convert it into this one product done so now first important thing you have to uh, remember again primary alcohols in the presence of copper will form aldehydes secondary alcohols in the presence of copper will form ketones tertiary alcohols in the presence of copper will give alkenes memorize this table and go it will be easy for you done so let us start with the reactions and apply what did i tell here to these reactions done the first one here i am given in the exam i am given alcohol plus metal so what did i say metal plus alcohol gives me salt plus hydrogen gas so what is the uh, this in uh, formed here here suppose i need hydrogen gas means i need to take two moles of this then so i am going to get r o n a plus hydrogen gas this is your salt so this is two moles so if this is also two moles so this is the alkoxide that is salt plus hydrogen gas so hence proved i whatever i've told earlier that it's already proved let's come back and see one more here i have phenol phenol plus sodium again metal plus alcohol what do should i get i get salt plus hydrogen gas so what do i uh, what should i write i'm going to write two moles here so i'm going to get o n a salt that is sodium uh, phenoxide plus hydrogen gas so this also will be two done so this is again a salt salt plus hydrogen gas let us see one more here i have one more reaction phenol plus zinc please don't write go and write uh, o a o z n wrong what is this again in the presence of metal when you treat it with phenol this zinc is going to combine it removes oxygen from that as a reducing agent it removes how oxygen see here this oxygen and this zinc comes out as zno i've seen most of the students writing o z n wrong here z n removes oxygen what are you left this hydrogen shifts here and you are going to get benzene ring Okay, this is the reaction don't get confused now let us start with dibal now i said this is very important and it's going to uh, uh, reduce amides aldehydes ketones nitriles and esters it's going to act on all now what do i have here i have nitriles or cyano group given to me look here dibal will be given to you like this it is isobutyl aluminum hydride which is a reducing agent so now whenever you have dibal here not thing to do remember convert this the last group whatever is there keep it like that only It'll convert the last group into aldehyde so i'll simple let us write that ch3 ch double bond ch ch2 ch2 cho that's it this is what dibal does it converts or reduces all these groups into aldehydes only simple isn't it now again in the next reaction i have esters i said it is also going to reduce esters done so <coughs> esters <coughs> when it is reducing dibal nothing to do you need to concentrate more on this the uh, this uh, ester group so what does it do it's going to convert this ester group into aldehyde then 
<laughs> what should you write? You need to write CH3, CH2, convert that ester into aldehydes. Okay, I need to write this also C2H5. Okay, that. So, you should not hang it to the functional group, isn't it? You will not uh, write it for uh, uh, the aldehyde. It will be there as a substituent. So, Dibal is converting esters also to aldehydes. Done. Now, let me apply the concept of uh, copper now to this whole thing. Now, I have copper with primary alcohols. I said copper, if you see as a reducing agent, it's going to convert primary alcohols to aldehydes. It's going to convert secondary alcohols to ketones. Tertiary alcohols to alkenes, isn't it? Let's start. Now I have given copper is given to me at 573 Kelvin. Again 573 Kelvin, 573 Kelvin. But what should where should I make my concentration go? My concentration should be more on primary alcohols. So primary alcohols in the presence of copper. Yes, metal acts as a reducing agent. Remove this hydrogen and you get RCHO. Done. Let's start with secondary alcohols. Why is the secondary? Because there are two alkyl groups. Secondary alcohols, remove this hydrogen and remove this hydrogen. You're going to get R, C, O, R prime. Ketones. Now, when I take tertiary alcohols, just see, tertiary alcohols means it's going to remove hydrogen from here. It's a bit congested, but please concentrate. It's going to give me alkenes. Hydrogen from here, OH from here. It's going to remove water here. Instead of uh, removing hydrogen, remove water. And what do I get? I'm going to get this bond shifted here. I'll be getting CH3, C double bond CH2, CH3. I am going to get an alkene. So, remember once again I am memorizing primary alcohols in the presence of copper will form aldehydes. Secondary alcohols in the presence of copper will form ketones. Tertiary alcohols in the presence of copper will form alkenes. That is the important thing. Now, let us come back and see the next set of reactions. So, when I have to see the next set of reactions, now we are going to study reactions which are involving metals and metal oxides. I have studied till now metals, right? There I studied about zinc, I studied about sodium, I studied about copper, I studied about dibal also. Now, I am going to study about metals and or metal oxides. Let us start. Now, here in this particular thing, in the exam paper, you will be given two important things see here what is this and what is this now this is called if i have to name <coughs> the one two three isn't it right sodium propanoxide okay if you write c2h5 ona sodium uh, uh, ethanoxide or uh, uh, sodium ethoxide or sodium ethanoxide here it is prop so it's propanoxide now or alkoxide okay let me write this as sodium alkoxide i'm generalizing it sodium alkoxide then i have one more here this is an haloalkane what is this haloalkane it is <coughs> a bromopropane isn't it okay bromopropane if you have to write in terms of alkyl halide i'm going to write it as uh, propyl bromide okay now in these particular reactions i'm going to take metal oxide as it isn't it okay now here when you have a combination of alkoxide as well as uh, alkyl halide so combination here concept is combination of alkoxide plus alkyl halide what should you remember what is the concept simple nothing is there in this maybe this is the reaction will scare you but concept is nabr is eliminated out minus nabr and you're going to write the product together what is the product ch3 ch2 ch2 o ch2 ch2 ch3 you're going to prepare an ether nothing removal of nabr so when you have an alkoxide and alkyl halide take out separate out nabr and write the product which is there and write name it done now let's see one more you have one more alkoxide here you have one more alkyl halide here you're heating it so when you remember what should what did i say you're going to take out this nabr simple and write the product together what do i get i am going to get o ch ch2 ch now i have got one more ether simple isn't it now let's come back maybe have, you would have got some confidence now we'll be doing we'll let us do the reaction fast a bit faster now again i have an alkoxide alkyl halide remove nabr 
and write the product CH3, CH2O, CH3. Done. Kene beer, I've already written here. Now, next important thing here I have tertiary alkoxide and uh, alkyl halide. Now you have to be uh, a bit uh, uh, like uh, careful in writing, right? Uh, because most of the students, what do they do when tertiary is given? They will miss out one carbonyl, uh, this methyl group or something, right? Now I'm going to compare between this one and this one. Observe carefully. What is the difference between this? Here you have tertiary alkoxide and primary alkyl halide. Okay, let us write that. This is tertiary alkoxide and primary alkyl halide. Primary alkyl halide. Okay, now what is this case? This is tertiary alkyl halide and primary alkoxide so what should you remember yes now whenever you have tertiary alkyl alkoxide here it is simple removing out NABR if it is tertiary alkoxide then what do you get you are going to get CH3 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 O CH3 you will be getting this ether okay now but when you have this compound this is where you have to be careful when you have uh, <coughs> the primary alkoxide in this particular case the product which you get simple isn't it now let's see so are you not finding both the products uh, similar yes that. let me see one more this is one more reaction where i have tertiary alkoxide here i have it alkyl halide primary okay what should i take out i need to take out na cl minus na cl ch3 ch3 o ch3 that now, just simple, I am just taking out uh, that thing and I am writing the ether product and alkoxide with alkoxide. Now, if I have one more reaction like this, what is this now? You have a bromine group and nitro which are para to each other. Done. Now, what is the confusion? Most of the students take out NaNO2. Wrong. What should you do? You need to take out bromine from here and Na from here and minus NaBr. What do I get? I am going to get... NO2 is here, OCH3 is here. This is the compound. Done. Now, one more I have reaction here, <coughs> the eighth reaction where you have ONA and CH3 PR. What should you remove? You need to remove NABR only always. And what product do I get? I am going to get OCH3 and NO2 hope you would have understood this so alkoxide if you have try to remove nabr from that and write the required ether done so now let me complete this with some more reactions let's see this now there is a ninth reaction here given now with this is sodium phenoxide you have a benzene ring with ona till now i have been doing aliphatic now you have a benzene ring so what should you take out you need to take out nacl from here and write down C6H5O C2H5. Here also you are forming an ether only. Done. Now let's uh, start with the next one. Now I have a reaction here. You have both methyl group. This is a cyclo uh, compound. You have methyl group as well as bromine given. But you have two compounds here. One what is given? One is sodium ethoxide and ethanol done so nothing to get confused first concentration is your br and na has to this is used as a solvent right now your br and na should come out it comes out as na br now what are you left with you are left <coughs> you are yeah you're left with this compound isn't it now where should you join 
So we have taken Na beer, but this is a cyclo compound. You have to be very careful. This bond from here is going to shift here. Then, so what are you going to get? You are going to get a compound which looks like this. This is the product. Don't try to add this O C two H five to that. No, you will be getting a compound just uh, a double bond formed here. In this. So here, what did you do? Here, don't write it here because C H three was earlier in this place. So try to write that C H three, and this is your alkene. So cyclo. Cyclo compound, a uh, uh, different case. Please remember that. Take out NaBr and finish off the answer. Now let's come back. Now, now let us.